Hey, thanks again for checking out my tutorials for the Texas Allstate Jazz Drums Etudes for 2020 and 2021. My name is Andy Smith. I'm Director of Percussion at the University of Texas at El Paso, where I teach drum set as well as total percussion, orchestral percussion, solo marimba, solo percussion, Afro-Cuban percussion, you name it. And I want to acknowledge my friends at Innovative Percussion doing these uh, demos and tutorials in collaboration with me. So let's talk about I love you. I do love you, but let's talk about the chart. Certainly listen to the Les Hooper Big Band arrangement. Um, as these etudes have been out about a day, I looking online, I believe you have to find a hard copy of the record. You've got many weeks, so go ahead and order the record. Um, and in general, you have many weeks of listening. So do spend time with all these charts, listening to original versions, listening to different versions, listening to the etudes themselves, and really getting inside of what's going on just knowing the tune, because that's your function. Play the tune. And you have no excuse, because you have many weeks. And doing it away from the instrument, with the chart in hand while listening, and also without the chart in hand. Ultimately, you probably should have everything memorized, because you've paid that close attention. Do play all the information on the chart and more. The dynamics, th the figures, and solo fills and connective ideas. So let's talk about groove and figures and connective ideas and fills. With regard to the groove, in many areas of the chart, particularly, for example, at the very beginning, let the ride symbol lead the phrasing and use the rest of the kit to complement it and just complement all that's going on keeping a strong quarter note groove and a nice bounce to what you're doing. At other times, you want to swing really hard, playing a straighter jazz ride, and emphasizing the backbeats, two and four. I'll demonstrate what I mean. But all the voices, when playing, can support that. And of course, the cymbals kind of lead the dy your general dynamic in a jazz swing setting. So even if you choose to feather the bass drum, it can support the two and four a little bit. And of course, the hi-hat, and maybe if you choose to get a little shuffle going on in the snare drum. With the ride cymbal, in this instance especially, we want to make sure that we're lifting before the backbeats. at least subtly to emphasize the two and four while lining up our quarter note with the bass. I want to see. Do that kind of idea at measure 41, at measure 45, and at 133, for example. At 153, where the chart is marked cook, you're kind of taking the chart out, get some backbeats in there. It's nice to support the trombone riffs on the kick drum while keeping the backbeats going. Play the dynamics. There's a lot of them. I used a 19-inch ride. I have a 19-inch Karope here from Zildjian. I used that 19 at a couple of spots to help execute a contrasting and quieter dynamic. Regard to figures, be aware of articulation. And also instrumentation. Is it saxophones? Is it ensemble? Is it trombone? It's nice, for example, to support the lower register of the trombones with the bass drum sometimes. And listeners will expect to hear that at some point. However, just use a nice balance of the kit. Use a nice balance of bass drum and snare drum while playing figures. At measure 130, you might want to give a nice close listen to what's going on. The upper winds is marked in the chart, but the trombones have a little counterpoint there. 
and you can make some decisions about playing real simple time or what you're catching or complementing. I chose to lightly catch some of both on the snare and the bass drum and to phrase on the ride cymbal. With regard to some connective ideas or fills and solo fills, you need to have a nice vocabulary to use to mark form, to set things up, and for some dynamic solo fills. Have some swing triplets. Maybe a subtle huggada or two. There's a nice uh, Elvin Jones five idea that becomes a six if you put a, a foot in the space, for example. Play some sixteenth notes for contrast to the triplets. And maybe uh, a nice one I learned from Steve Houghton, a six stroke roll going into a uh, four stroke rough. Okay, happy swinging. There's some nice three charts for you with some great background. Plenty of listening for you to do and uh, happy drumming. Good luck.